Baker's cyst, sometimes called popliteal cyst. Baker's cyst is a benign swelling found behind the knee. It can be a large cyst or a small cyst. The cyst lies posterior to the medial femoral condyle, and the cyst is connected to the knee joint through a valvular opening. Knee effusion or a swelling from intraarticular pathology allows the fluid to go through the valve to the cyst in one direction, and that direction is usually behind the knee. Sometimes the patient complain about a swelling behind the knee, and that alert the clinician to the possibility of having a problem inside the knee itself. The cyst is located between the semimembranosus and the medial gastrocnemius muscle. This cyst is usually located at or below the joint line. Diagnosis. The patient usually has a swelling behind the knee with pain, fullness, and tenderness. The presence of knee effusion, which is excessive fluid inside the knee, will create fluid pressure that allow unidirectional passage of the fluid from the knee joint through the valve into the cyst. Baker's cyst is easier to see with the knee fully extended. The diagnosis is usually confirmed by an MRI that will show the associated intraarticular pathology. Ultrasound is helpful. The cyst will be located medial to the blood vessels. Ultrasound can be important, especially if the cyst is found to be outside of its typical normal position. So what causes the cyst? The two most common causes are knee arthritis and meniscal tear, especially the medial meniscus. Tears of the posterior horn of the meniscus that extend to the capsule may cause a defect or one-way valve to develop between the knee joint and the bursa that lies between the gastrocnemius and semimembranosus. If the cyst is present in a typical location, consider a tumor as part of the differential diagnosis. Baker's cyst is a fluid-filled cyst and not a solid tumor. The cyst should transilluminate. So what is the treatment of a painful large cyst? Ice, compression wrap, anti-inflammatory medication, strengthening exercises, aspiration of the cyst. Here is a technique of aspiration of the cyst blindly. And here is a technique of aspiration of the cyst under ultrasound. And here is the fluid that was obtained from aspiration of a baker's cyst. And here is a pick of the back of the knee after aspiration of the cyst. Excision of the cyst. Recurrence of Baker's cyst is common if the intraarticular pathology continue. The best treatment is arthroscopy and debridement of intraarticular pathology. Recurrence of the cyst is common following its removal, and therefore the main treatment of Baker's cyst should be directed towards treating the intraarticular pathology, usually a meniscal tear or arthritis. The cyst may burst, causing calf pain and swelling. Rule out deep vena thrombosis or thrombophlebitis. Popliteal cyst in children. Common soft tissue mass at the back of the knee occur more in boys. Transilluminate, usually asymptomatic, 
and it is not a tumor. The cyst may not be intraarticular and it may not have a connection to the knee joint. It is usually not associated with a meniscal tear. Surgery is rarely indicated. The cyst is usually treated by observation. A spontaneous resolution of the cyst can occur in 10 to 20 months. In difficult cases, aspiration of the cyst may be indicated. The cyst may respond to aspiration and steroid injection because it is not connected to the knee joint. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.